Yeah, right, guys. This is Adam from the Dutch Cube. Um, today I'm going to show you. It's a different video. It's not like a Minecraft video, but I'm going to teach you how to make a simple and basic but professional intro in Cinema 4D. Uh, you can use this for Minecraft or any other any other thing. I'm going to do a similar intro to the one I've made earlier. Um, so just follow my steps. Really, just. Do do what I do. That should work. Alright, so you wanna start up your Cinema 4D. And you should have like Yeah, you shouldn't have anything, it should just be a blank page. Alright, and right, so first off you wanna go up to this blue cube and you wanna click on plane. This is basically the floor of your intro. Um you should wanna put on the width a couple of nines. Four nines. That's what I usually do. Okay, and it should just make it bigger like that. Um, next, you see this little squealy line. Uh, you you want to click on that. Oh, click and hold down, and then you want to go on text. Um, now your text won't be three D, but I'll show you how to make it three D in a minute. So basically, you got you can type in here what you want it to say. So let's put the Dutch cube. And then you got the f little font box down here. Impact. Okay, so now you've got your text. You want to go up to this little green cube up up on the top right, and then go on extrude nerbs. Click on that. Go on your text and drag it up into extrude nerbs, and you should get this 3D text. Okay, so now you've got that. You want to click on extrude nerbs, and you want to change the movement to. 80 meters and it should make it a bit longer like that so now you've done that you want to go on your text or extrude nerves press control V but mine's not working so you just copy and paste it so you should end up hang on so you should end up with two of them you want to go on your second one and you want to change the movement to 40 then you want to go along to caps and you want to change both of these to fillet cap. Make sure that both of them are fillet caps. So. Okay. And then you want to change the radius of the second one to 10 instead of 5. And go on this little arrow well circle thing and go to the side and drag the little blue line across and put try and put it in the middle and it should look like that so now you can have two colours this is what it will look like when you're filming so far so it's quite cool right now I've already got some materials I made earlier um, but you'll have to make your own materials and I'll show you how to do that in a minute Okay, so I've already got materials, but to make your own materials, you just go on File, New Material, and then it'll have like colours and everything. You just gotta make it. Okay, so let's make mine. Let's give it a blue and a red. Okay, so now my text is nice blue and a red. Um, I'm happy with that. So I think it's a bit dark, so I'm gonna go up to these little four arrows and go on Light. I'm gonna drag this up. What this does, it just makes it a bit brighter. Makes the text look a bit cool as well. You can also drag it along. You can have it about there. Do that. That's quite nice. And now, now you've got everything sorted, you want to click on the same thing and go across the camera. And you should get this little green box. That's where your camera's going to be. So you want to go on cameras, scene cameras, and then camera. Now this makes you the camera. Now down here you see you've got 90F if you're using a Mac. Um, what I usually have on is 250. And then you just want to drag this up to the end. Okay, so now you have your... This is how long your intro will be. Right, so to start off you want to go back a bit. You want to click the little key and then go up to about 60. Um, I'll turn it a bit. 
to the T and then go towards it and click the key again and move up to 120 straighten it out a bit then move to the side to the end hit the key again let's go for 200 this time let's turn it go a bit forward Turn it again, hit the key, go down, move to the end, turn it, and move back. And then hit the key again. Alright, now just click the little play button and just check if you're happy with it. Alright, I'm happy with that. So now that everything's done, you want to go up to render in the top right, click on render settings, go on output and change your frame range to all frames. Click on your save and whatever format you want to be it on, you want to put it on. Uh, I usually use QuickTime Movie, so just click on that. And if you want to have any effects, just click on effect. Um, I'll put a... Hmm, yeah, I'll put a lens effect. So now you've got a nice little lens effect on what else? okay so now you've done that you want to click on this little orange um, snapshot and just hit yes and now it's rendering it out so once while it's rendering out um, you can stop it and edit it a bit and it's quite a long process but basically once you've rendered it out just wait for it to do that. It does take a while. Oh, another thing I wanted to say is um, we've got our server up and running. So now, if you want my, um, the IP address or the Hamachi details, just ask. I'm running it with a few friends of mine. It is a British and Dutch server. We have a few Dutch people on it as well. But if you want the details, just ask me. Um, we, we've done quite a lot of stuff on it. Um, but we're not going to let people on it just yet because we still need to um, sort out stuff for the mega builds and there will be an area where we are doing mega builds which you won't be allowed to go to obviously because you have to watch the episode and find out um, but pretty much when it's done you just want to hit file save as and there should be a little um, a little a little box should come up and you could you should be able it should say um, like stop frame or current frame you wanna click that down and click on animation and then just put it on your desktop and name it to whatever you want and then it should be on there um, I can't do that now because it's still loading um, but basically that's how you make an intro and uh, if this helped anyone that wanted to know how to make an intro then you're welcome I will be posting more tutorials in the future because a lot of people didn't want me to do um, well quite a few didn't want me to do Call of Duty or anything like that, so I'm just going to stick to the PC, you know, do some tutorials and Minecraft at the same time. Right, thanks guys, I do hope this helped a lot of you out there. Um, remember to subscribe, it does help the channel grow. And yeah, cheers.